Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Now this is the final follow-up video on the Creality K1C Extruder Gate. Now for those who don't know, I released my review of the K1C last week where I gave it a favourable outcome because I think it's actually a very good printer. Part of that though was due to the fact that Creality said it had an all-metal extruder. Not an all-metal hot end, but specifically all-metal extruder, which I took to believe full metal gears. However, it turns out that was not the case and in a follow-up video we actually tore my one down and took a look at what was inside and compared that to what was being marketed by Creality. Since then I've actually spoke to Creality and whilst I don't think they're particularly pleased with that video I put out, I do have some answers with regards to the situation. So today I'm going to give you the final update on what is the Creality K1C extruder meant to be? Is it all metal? Is it metal hot end only? And hopefully this will give you the information you need to make up your mind with regards to if you want to purchase this printer. Now, just to be clear, if you're interested in seeing my initial review or you're interested in seeing my follow-up video, there will be links to them in the description below. What I'm going to do is give you a very quick summary now of what the situation was and then we'll talk about what I've got back from Creality. With the release of the K1C, Creality were marketing this printer as being fitted with an all-metal extruder. Now we should separate off what is an all-metal extruder compared to what is an all-metal hot end. Their website though very clearly labelled this as an all-metal extruder. They were showing you this rendering with cogs that all appeared to be metal. And whilst there were some different colours, there is no question in my mind that what they were showing here was designed to push the opinion that this was an all-metal gear set and whilst the outside housing of the extruder may not have been metal, the gear set itself definitely appeared to be from this rendering and they were specifically using the words all metal. The teardown of other printers as well as my own showed that this gear set was not metal, it remained plastic and this extruder was largely the same as the new version of the extruder that they're shipping on the K1 Max. Okay, so we have the extruder again from the K1C as well as the hot end. Now in the feedback for that last video, a lot of people were saying you're reading the marketing wrong, you're wrong, it's an all metal hot end, it's the normal extruder, it's correct, it's all fine, there's nothing to worry about. There was also a lot of people who agrees with me that there's a lot of nonsense going on here. So what we have is our extruder and our hot end. Now there is no question that this hot end is what they're saying in the marketing material. So they are calling this their unicorn nozzle system. It is a tri-metal system, so you have a titanium alloy heat break, you've got a copper section, we've got our nozzle, which goes down to what they're saying is a steel-tipped copper nozzle, which is that down there. Now, this is exactly what they're saying it is in the marketing material. There is no PTFE tube here. This goes all the way up directly to the bottom of the extruder. If you look at the bottom of the extruder there, there's a hole. This simply goes into there. So your filament path is straight into the extruder through the drive down into the hot end. And that is what Creality have delivered on the K1C. Now, what's quite interesting when you look at this is it is very similar to what we've seen from other manufacturers. There are obviously going to be question marks over some patent infringement around this. We're going to have to wait and see how that works. However, what is good about it is Creality have designed a nozzle which looks fairly straightforward, nice and simple. It is quick and easy to install and I, I did mention this in my review. Creality is saying one-handed swap but that is not going to happen. You're going to need a tool to be able to get this out. I used my trusty iFixit screwdriver to undo it and then you have to screw unscrew it all the way out of the bottom of the main extruder assembly. It's one-handed in the sense of you only need one hand to turn it but you're going to need a bit more than that to get the screwdriver etc. It's not quite like the Revo hot ends that will just naturally unscrew when cold. This is not like that at all. There's no sprung mechanism on here to hold it in. It is very much a bolt-in hot end that is going to need a tool to remove it on the outside. 
Now, with regards to this extruder again, this is obviously where all of the interesting stuff is with regards to what they're saying versus what we actually have. Now, there are people who have said they are correct. This whole area here is metal. The spring and ball mechanism is metal, and that's what they're referring to with an all-metal extruder. However, that is not what my interpretation of an all-metal extruder is. If we just pop the front cover, we're going to need to undo those screws a little bit more. And I know I showed this in the last video. However, I do just want to go a bit more into it again. Let's just get that out. There we are. There are obviously metal parts in here. You have the rollers that are metal, that guide the filament. They're metal. They should be metal on pretty much any 3D printer. It doesn't say hardened metal rollers. It says all metal extruder. There is this bearing, obviously, which is metal. We have a cog here to the plastic wheels, which is metal. That goes to plastic again on the outside. And then, obviously, the two main drives are on plastic wheels as well. Someone asked me, am I sure it's plastic? Yes, I'm sure it's some form of plastic. I've checked it with a knife. I've given them a bit of a scrape on the edge, and they are definitely plastic. There is no metal here with these at all. Now, I'm also not saying that all metal is a good thing. In fact, I would have been more than happy in this printer if there was, say, one plastic drive wheel with the rest of them being metal to give something to shear or bind up if there was a physical issue. But again, this comes down to marketing. The paperwork, the website says all metal extruder. That is not an all metal extruder. We absolutely have an all metal hot end with no PTFE, metal heat break. That is all absolutely fine. Again, it's simply what we have going on in here. Now, since making that video, I have had a response from Creality and some things have changed. The answer to whether the K1C has an all metal extruder or at least should have an all metal extruder is no. The extruder that I have is correct. That is what is meant to be in that printer. With regards to the wording on the website, what was said to me is, yes, there are metal gears in there. There is the metal gear on the motor. There is the metal gear that is pressed into that other gear. However, if you're being strict, no, it is not an all metal extruder. As a result of that, Creality have now actually changed their website. Originally, as I showed earlier, it said all metal extruder. However, now they have changed that and it now says clog free extruder. We still have that original rendering which is there like they had before but the wording has now changed away from all metal and that really is reflecting what we have in the actual printer. Now for me this is all a little bit distasteful in the sense of there are people who have ordered these printers out there based on the information not only that I have provided but was on the original Creality website as well. We also have many vendors that will still be showing this original specification and it's going to take some time for this to filter out to everyone so if you are interested in getting yourself a K1C do make sure that you do fully understand that it has an all metal hot end but not what most of us would deem an all metal extruder. Now, overall, I gave this printer a glowing review. However, this has changed things. The overall performance of the K1C hasn't changed. And at the end of that video, I did say I think in many ways it's a better option than the likes of the P1S from Bamboo. And that was because the printer worked extremely well. You're getting a decent webcam that actually works. You have a printer that does decent offline mode. And you had that all metal hot end as well. So you had the hot end and the extruder. Now, though, things have changed. And whilst my overall opinion of the printer is the same, it doesn't make it as good a deal as it was before. And for some people, the P1S may still be a better option. There were loads of people who reached out to me after my review saying, how can you say this printer is better than the P1S? However, you've got to take into account it's about value as well as capability. Not everyone is going to need an AMS. And if you don't, then the K1C may have a smaller build volume, but it 
does have some really decent features and as I've said overall it is still a very compelling package. What is a huge shame here is that Creality have soured this launch with this error, this mistake. Whether it was intentional or not is not for me to say. Never attribute to malice what can be explained by incompetence as they always say and frankly what we have here is an error as a result of disjointed communication. However that doesn't make it right and in the end Creality have made a bit of a boo-boo. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be working with Creality again in the future after this. I wanted to put this video out there just to make sure you fully understood what the situation is. They're probably going to think twice before sending me a printer again. However, I have always said on this channel, I will always tell you exactly how it is. I will always tell you the truth. And that's why you've seen these series of videos here today. Not only do I make reviews on products, but I follow up afterwards with things that change as well and now we've come full circle on the K1C so I can now move on to getting on with testing the printer more. I'm going to be doing some content around TPU printing in the near future as well so if you're interested in seeing that please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please do let me know what you think about it in the comment section if you have any questions please put it down there as well. There is a link to my original review as well as the second video as well as Patreon in the description if you'd like to support the channel as well. Anyway that's it from me stay safe I'll speak to you soon.